everyone, it's Stacey Heine from The Urban Pharmacy. I hope that you are having a great day. It is me and Cohen, my sous chef, and we are so excited to be back here on Chef AJ and sharing some recipes from the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle that is available right now, only through May 11th. It is very close to being gone forever, and once it's gone, it's gone. So I figured we would share some kid friendly and entertainment friendly recipes. So what we're going to be showing tonight are three different things. We're going to be showing some raw cinnamon rolls. So these are the cinnamon rolls from my ebook called the Raw Energy Reset. And this bundle collaboration has, no, nope, not yet. This bundle collaboration has, has over 400 raw vegan recipes in it. And uh, some of them are super simple, like these raw cinnamon rolls. And some of them are a little bit more elaborate, like the wraps from Lissa or, you know, um, the dehydrated gourmet desserts and stuff like that. But guess what? There's something for everybody. So you're going to absolutely love it when you get your hands on it. So make sure that you click the link down in the show notes to get the ultimate raw vegan bundle before it's gone forever on May 11th. Okay. So in the bundle, we have my contribution plus 39 other contributions that have to do with health. You want to say hi? <laughs> you want to bite? Okay. You can have a bite of the cinnamon roll. He was pouting. It's been a long day for Cohen. He just got back from tennis. Yeah. Yeah. But um, in my contribution called the raw energy reset, we have multiple different things like smoothies. Okay. Yeah. We have smoothies. We have salads. We have um, cinnamon rolls. I know, I know. You can tell people about it. Cohen didn't finish his smoothie, but he's getting his cinnamon roll before that. Um, so he's the lucky boy today. But anyways, in my raw energy reset book, I have anything from really easy recipes to a little bit more elaborate, like this, this chopped salad that we're gonna make. But um, the second thing we're gonna make are almond date energy bites. So easy. And Cohen will be demoing that. Mm -hmm. And then I will be dem demoing on the side. Yeah, that's a almond butter stuffed date. It's so easy, you guys. Like, this is just so simple. Um, I'm going to be showing you my heart hearty sprouted mung bean carrot and broccoli salad. So um, I'm going to start prepping away with the salad. And Cohen is going to be doing the almond butter stuffed dates while after he's done eating and while I'm chopping the salad. So bear with me. Yeah, I know. I know. You no, no, no. You need to chew and swallow the other one first. Okay. So my sous chef is eating and I'm going to cook. I'm going to uncook because all these recipes are raw. I promise these energy, these recipes will give you energy. They will make you feel better. They will hydrate you and they will reduce your inflammation. So check out the bundle. Okay. Cohen is eating the almond date energy bites and he's going to demo that in a minute this is all raw and super antioxidant packed now i'm going to show you the hearty sprouted mung bean carrot and broccoli salad uh, and i'm going to explain to you that you can you know modify this recipe to make it your own so that you absolutely love it so in this recipe we have a head of finely chopped broccoli i like to either buy the pre-cut um florets of broccoli or just take a whole head of broccoli and create a floret first and then go ahead and chop it into little pieces. You could totally also put this into the food processor to make it even that much more easy and pulverize it until it is to your desired texture. So I'm going to be making it into kind of like confetti texture, if you will. It's small. It's going to be chewable and easy to digest. Um, without having to do a lot of work with your jaw since it is raw broccoli, right? You could totally use cauliflower for this too. Um, very much up to you. So Cohen is going to pit his dates and get ready to stuff those with the raw almond butter. I made almond butter in the um, natural milk machine, which I totally love. It makes a nice smooth almond butter. Cohen is practicing his knife skills by tucking his fingers under. He's been learning that, so wanted to he wanted to show you that. And um, while I'm chopping this broccoli, I'll explain to you what he's doing. He's cutting his date just through the top, 
Okay, and it's long ways. So you want to show what it looks like? Yeah, and then you open it up and you pull out the pit. If your dates are already pitted, that's great. And what you're going to do is basically just not cut all the way. You don't want to cut all the way through it, right? Yeah, inside that, we're going to put our raw almond butter. Okay. And you just need a little bit to go inside of the date. And then kind of close the date up and you put them in the freezer and eat them. Um, That's what's here. These are great for kids, growing kids. Everybody loves them. They're super sweet. They're nutrient packed, very good for energy density. So if you have growing children, growing grandchildren, and you definitely want to get, you know, the healthy calories in them without giving them processed sugar, refined food, stuff like that, get them on these energy bites because they're so easy. Yeah. Now I'm going to eat it. Okay. They're so delicious. They're so easy. They're fiber packed and you can make a ton of them and freeze them. That's what I love to do. We also love to put our homemade, um, what is it? The, the ginger, uh, what was the nut butter that we made? The ginger, um, I don't know. Keep your fingers tucked, please. Make sure that you have it the right direction you do. Okay. Cohen usually has a sharper knife, but honestly we couldn't find it. So, um, Sharper knives are sometimes safer for kids to use in the kitchen because those dull knives can be a little bit, you, you put a lot of pressure down, you know, on the food and you don't want it to roll around. So yeah, you got to tuck your fingers. That's right. Get your kids or your grandkids into the kitchen as soon and as early as you possibly can so that they can connect to their food. When they connect to their food and when they have, you know, agency in the process and they're ready to, you know, pick which you know, pick which type of nut butter they want or um, pick which type of veggie they want in their salad. They're so much more likely to eat it, um, especially if they have fun making it. So there is your nudge to pull the kids into the kitchen. And yes, it will take a little bit more time and patience, but it's very much worth it to get them on healthy habits. I have clients that definitely struggle with this very much so. And uh, they just really, really hope and wish that their kids would eat more healthfully. But as Chef AJ says, we know that it has a lot to do with what we bring in the house. So um, if you can keep those foods, those processed sugary foods that you don't want your kiddos eating out of the house, you'll be much more likely to succeed and they will feel better too. Um, now in this mung bean salad, uh, I'm putting that broccoli and then I'm also putting flat chives. Now in the recipe, I call for like four to five chives, um, but actually I'm using more because I'm pretty obsessed with chives. And these are actually flat chives that I found at the, um, at the international grocery store. And I am obsessed. They're onion chives. And I just absolutely love the flavor of them. So I'm putting them in my bowl with the broccoli and um, that will add great, great flavor. And the alliums are cancer protective. So we're getting really great components there. Okay, next up, we're gonna add some herbs. Now the recipe calls for cilantro, but I actually don't have cilantro on hand. So I'm gonna be using some, um, some parsley instead and that's fine. These salad recipes, you, oh no, that's way too sharp. That's way too sharp for you. Nah, here, how about I slice and then you pull out and then you stuff. No, I don't slice Okay, well, you can, you just be very careful. Okay, so um, keep your finger tucked, please. Okay, so you can modify, you know, to your liking. If you don't want to use green onion, you could totally use red onion or shallot. Um, no. The salad principle here is to get, um, you know, it's kind of a higher calorie salad, but it's a nutrient dense raw salad um, and uses sprouted beans. So I use sprouted mung beans. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Yes, you may. Um, so I'm putting parsley into my bowl. And then we're going to add some leafy greens. So in the recipe, I just say leafy greens. I'm using yummy, crispy iceberg lettuce. I'm 
just love the hydration that iceberg lettuce provides and it is so good now you can modify this recipe to make it more higher carbohydrate and lower in fat which i know so many of you practice more like the starch solution salad by you know omitting some of the fat that we're going to add to the dressing and maybe omitting the dried fruit like the raisins like we're going to add and you don't even have to add, have to add the nuts or seeds in it as well you can find other ways to modify this salad um, but use the same types of flavors. You could use beans instead of the, the seeds that we're going to add in, right? And you could use like fresh grapes instead of raisins in the salad. So there's ways to modify this. Now, in addition to these uh, base, you know, veggies that we have in here, we're going to add, like I said, some raisins and the recipe calls for almonds, raw almond slivers, but you can use pumpkin seeds, which I'm going to be using as uh, tonight, just for zinc, um, immune suppression has been going around. My husband just traveled and we need to get some more zinc into the diet. So, um, I'm checking my measurements here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. just about a half of a cup of those and pumpkin seeds are just really great for zinc. Um, no, we're not going to cut anything else, but we are going to start to assemble the cinnamon rolls. Okay. So can you clean up your mess? And then we'll move on to the next thing that you're gonna show people how to make. Um, I'm going to put some raisins in here. Again, if you are avoiding dry fruit because of the calorie density, feel free to add fresh fruit instead. Uh, typically broccoli salads sometimes have like dried fruits in them, nuts and seeds. Like my mom makes a broccoli salad that has sunflower seeds in it, I'm pretty watch out, watch out. sure. And, um, oh, <laughs> thank you, Cohen. And uh, yeah, but you can make this lower in fat for sure. Uh, okay, so the last two things that we're gonna add to the base of the salad are shredded carrots. I love to use my food processor um, that has the really fine blade and, and just process like five pounds of carrots at a time because we use them in everything from salads to sandwiches to you know stir fries and I absolutely love the sweetness of carrots when they're really shredded finely like that. So we're doing oh, carrots hi. and then the very star ingredient, I will say to the salad is these sprouted mung beans. So look how cute these are. They're adorable. Yes. And sprouted mung beans are so easy to do on your countertop. I just buy these <laughs> cute little sprouting lids. And I will like link all the things that I'm using down in the show notes so that you can get them if you need them. Okay. But I know you've seen like Nate Maris doing sprouting on your show, on the show before, um, Chef AJ. And we sprout all the time. We have alfalfa sprouts and broccoli sprouts and bean sprouts going all the time. And this just makes them more bioavailable and increases their phytonutrient load and their antioxidants and their protein. And uh, mung beans are incredibly easy to sprout. Same with lentils, um, no matter what type of lentil they are, they are easy to sprout. Takes two, two to three days and it's just a fun variety for an, a salad. And, and, and this, and then, and we're gonna do. Cinnamon banana rolls. Cinnamon banana rolls. Thank you. And this is bendable just like the wraps. Perfect, Cohen. Thank you so much. That was a great tip. Cohen's going to show you how to make the um, cinnamon banana rolls in just a second. And while he does that, yeah, the filling, hold on, hold on. We are going to, you're going to need to get a spoon or you're going to need to stir that cinnamon up in there. Uh, I'm going to make the dressing while he coats the cinnamon rolls, the raw cinnamon rolls. And I will explain to you how that all happens. Okay. So here's our salad base and I should have done a bigger bowl. I literally always feel like I say that. I'm always telling my husband, oops, I should have used a bigger bowl. Um, but the fact of the matter is once I put this dressing on, it will be just fine. And, you know, things will kind of weigh the, the fluid and the dressing will kind of weigh the salad down and it will be just fine. And the salad just tastes even better after a little bit, you know, like a day of sitting in the fridge. And I got a spreader. Cohen has a spreader for the cinnamon rolls. Hey, it's strong, it's all right, so don't forget about how easy these almond date 
energy bites are. Please don't forget how easy they are. You can mix and match your raw nut butters that you put in there. Uh, get medjool dates for the best um, opportunity for stuffing because they're bigger. Uh, get the big, fat, juicy medjool dates, okay? That will give you the best energy bite. Um, and you could even, you know, dust them with cocoa powder. We love dusting them with ginger powder and uh, mm. cinnamon powder for fun yeah. flavors. And Cohen is trying the cinnamon um, filling for the banana cin cinnamon banana rolls. Oh, that's look so how good. pretty the salad is. It's going to be so yummy. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to make the dressing for that while Cohen shows you. Let's move over to, hold on one second, one second. We're going to explain to everybody what's going on. What is going on is these are the base for our cinnamon rolls. These I'm are bananas. I know I think them what they are though. These are bananas that we cut in half lengthwise or long ways. Okay. And I put them on a dehydrator tray, um, about 115 um, degrees until they were pliable. I can't give you an exact time because it depends on how much water is in your bananas. depends how big the bananas are. So just keep your eye on them several hours, at least six hours, at least typically, um, these were huge bananas. So, um, they are pliable. And then when you bend them, they don't break. Okay. So that's your, that's when you know that they're ready to roll. And I have simply made a filling with dates and cinnamon and water blended up. We all know about the date paste, date puree, date syrup situation and how we sweeten our food with fruit, the whole fruit and nothing but the whole fruit, like chef AJ says, right? And so this is how we make our filling. I also have a chocolate cinnamon roll recipe in the raw energy reset that's in the ultimate raw vegan bundle. So please don't miss out on that because the chocolate ones I think are even better. I just love the chocolate, but Cohen likes the cinnamon. I'm a chocolate girl. Um, so let's see here. We're going to take these with the half, the exposed half that we cut side up, and we're going to fill them very thinly with a, with a little bit of the cinnamon date filling, and then we'll roll them up. What? I didn't squish it. Okay. We'll roll them up into a fun cinnamon roll. And then we will re-dehydrate them just for a little bit. So um, it won't take long for you to rehydrate them, maybe just an hour, just to kind of solidify the date puree paste in there, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and make the dressing. Uh, you don't wanna eat or like your spoons or your knives when you're cooking, just in case you're serving other people, but thankfully Cohen's not gonna be serving any other people um, our, our roles. But if you're, but if you're like, if you're a rest, if you're a chef at a restaurant, you, you wouldn't. Like, you wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. So in our dressing, we have dates. We have, I'm sorry. Yes. We're going to put two dates, water, tahini. And if you want to go low fat, you can make this with beans instead. Um, or uh, roasted chestnuts, if you don't care about them being raw. If you don't care about the dressing oh. being raw. Um, I think you just touched Oops, sorry. And then we're going to add lemon juice, garlic, turmeric, curry powder. And I believe that's it for our dressing. So it's a yummy dressing. We have to add lemon juice too. Little lemon juice. I love just buying the jar of organic lemon juice and throwing that into my dressings. You could use a little miso paste in this if you are somebody that is very stuck uh, on um, salt and you need that salty flavor, but miso doesn't raise your blood pressure, but it makes things salty flavored. Okay, so making sure that I have all the ingredients that we need in the dressing. Yes, so it's warm water, lemon, tahini, garlic, dates, curry powder, ginger, turmeric, and um, a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. But what's really lovely about this is that the, the salad is just so cancer protecting uh, from the sulforaphane and um, the onion, the sulforaphane and the broccoli, the onions, and uh, the turmeric and the black pepper, it's anti-inflammatory. 
It's delicious. We don't have any, sweetie. We don't. We don't. We have to go down to Good Earth and get the cheap chickpea one. Um, so now I'm just going to blend this up. And Cohen, are you done with your cinnamon rolls? Oh, okay. You can get a cup. I'm going to blend this up. Here's one. And then we will be done. Please don't forget to get the ultra raw vegan bundle. You guys, you will not regret this. It has so many recipes that are perfect for kids and grandkids and yourself alike. And you will feel so energized and vibrant when you start eating more raw food. I don't live a fully raw lifestyle. As you know, I've made many cook things on Chef PJ. I love my whole food, plant-based way of eating potatoes and grains and beans. But when I add more raw foods into my life, I have a different energy about, you know, living. And so I really just highly encourage that you, especially for kids, like, you know, raw foods are not really common for kiddos. So I think that it's really good to um, to expose them as early as you can. So yes, I'm using my glove and my hand in my blender. I just want to give you a full disclosure. Um, you don't have to do this. You can use a spatula to get the dressing out. Um, but this is making it really easy on me. And I wore gloves today because I cut my finger um, earlier in the kitchen and <laughs> didn't want to have my bandaid exposed. But this dressing is very creamy. Like I told you, you can make it low fat. It won't be raw anymore if you do the low fat version because you're going to be using beans or uh, roasted ch chestnuts. But if you're a real stickler on keeping it raw, you can absolutely do so by just using cauliflower in the dressing, um, pre-frozen cauliflower. It will break down the fiber and make it a little bit softer. So the beautiful thing about this is that, watch, I can just take my glove off. And now all I have to do is stir up my salad. And again, the salad is so good once it gets to sit for a few days. Um, so I highly suggest that you try it. Um, I want to just thank Chef AJ for letting me be on and letting Cohen and I show you a cooking demo with three different raw recipes from my brand new resource called the Raw Energy Reset. Plus, you guys, don't forget there's 400 other raw vegan recipes in the incredible Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. I'm including the link to buy that down in the show notes so that you can enjoy that. It's totally different than any of the plant-based bundles that we've had. It's all new content. You want to get your hands on this so that you can get re-inspired to get back into the kitchen or to get into the kitchen um, with more raw foods and, you know, kind of change up uh, what's going on on a daily basis of what you're eating. And um, thank you so much for being on. We'll see you soon.